Good day everybody. Uh, today I'm going to talk about the simulation of a buck convert using the program LT Spice. For those of you who don't know, uh, a buck converter is an electronic circuit, which uh, a converter that converts DC to DC voltage. F uh, it steps down the voltage from higher voltage to lower voltage. Uh, first, uh, we're going to start by opening, uh, opening a new schematic page so we can build up our circuit. We go to here, as you can see, uh, this button here is a new schematic. Once you put the mouse on uh, each button, a label will pop out explaining what the button is. Let's click in new schematics. As you can see here, the page has changed and we have all of these tools here we can use. And this cursor here shows where you can put e each component. Uh, the most frequently used components are put here, for example, wires, ground, resistor, capacitor, inductor, and diode, and for any other components like voltage sources, switches, and uh, different components that can be used in electronic circuits can be used here, uh, can be found here in a component. Uh, now we will start building our circuit. Uh, the buck converter contains a um, voltage source, a switch, a diode, uh, an inductor, capacitor, and resistor. Uh, first we need the voltage source so we go to here basically you need a DC voltage source uh, this example we're gonna do today is a buck converter that steps down the voltage from 20 to uh, 20 volts to approximately 15 volts so we go to here uh, as you can see once you click on component this page pops up we go to over here and for example write the thing that we are searching for here volts we need a voltage source uh, as you can see here this is the voltage source uh, and here explains that this voltage source can be either used for DC EC, AC voltage or a pulse or a sine wave or any other configurations that's uh, available we just click OK we go over here we can uh, put this component anywhere we want we just put it over here now it's slightly big so we need to zoom out we use the mouse to scroll up or down so if you scroll up this uh, will become smaller as you can see here after that we're gonna need our switch we go back to components we write switch or SW is enough we click OK and then we go back to the schematic page we, in order to align this uh, the switch with the circuit correctly, we go to Control R so we can rotate this component, and Control E to invert it. As you can see here. After that, we need a diode. Also, we need to rotate this component, make it face upwards. Here we have the diode. And after that, we will take the inductor and add it to the circuit. We rotate it first. After the inductor, we have, of course, the capacitor. And finally, the resistor. These are all of the components that we're going to use in today's circuit. Uh, if you want to move the components around, you can use this one. Uh, here, the Move uh, tool. You can click on all of them and move them at once. Or you can move each component alone and you right click you will cancel the tool uh, after that we go to wire and we start connecting these components together as you can see here it's very easy as you can see where you are going to connect the other components and of course the diode This is the initial circuit of the buck converter. Now we need to add the values. As I said before, here we have 20 DC voltage, constant voltage. The, uh, of course, this simulation is taken from an example uh, from a textbook, uh, electro which is a fundamental of electronics. We just go over here. Uh, as per the example, this capacitor is given 0.47 micro uh, in order to write here micro we use the u if you want to write milli 
we use uh, m small and n for nano and if you leave it as it is it will be taken as uh, farad so we put micro here and for the inductor we use we put 750 micro also u uh, we in this example we are giving the output voltage which is 15 volts and the output current which is 5 we just divide these two values together in order to get the resistor which is 3 ohms now that we have the values of all the components uh, we need to control the switch as you can see this here the switch is controlled by a voltage source so we need that to add the voltage source to the switch we go back over here write volts okay we connect using the wire the positive the voltage source here with the positive and the negative with the negative just one last thing missing is the ground we must not forget that or otherwise the circuit will not work the ground here and also the circuit here now in order to control the switch we need um, as this is a converter we need an on and off time the frequency of the circuit is 50 kilohertz and we can get the period which is one over the frequency in this case it's a 20 microseconds and the duty cycle here is 0 0.75 so we go to the voltage source we right click it so it can open then go to advanced and as you can see here there are different configuration we go to pulse the initial voltage is 0 and the on voltage is 5 volts this is what we want uh, the switch to operate on we can assume this is uh, an ideal case so we put zeros for the delays then the rise and the fall time now uh, the on time which is, as I said, 0 0.75 or 75 percent of the period is for example is 15 micro and the whole period is 20 microseconds we just click OK now we can move this over here so you can better see it now we have uh, the control of the switch before you go uh, and run this simulation first we have to define the switch because this switch right now is not defined on this uh, system we go to over here as you see here the spice directive we click on this and we define the switch over here we just put dot and then model after that we define the switch with which as you can see here is SW its name SW we define this SW with open bracket we need four parameters the uh, on resistance the off resistance and the trip voltage and the hysteresis voltage we go here R on which is the on resistance which is is uh, in an ideal case it is zero but in this case we just put 0 0.001 and uh, as for the off time or I'm um, sorry off resistance as uh, ideally it is infinity which is an open circuit but in this case we're just gonna put 100 mega ohm and as for the trip voltage which is VT we put for example 1.1 and for the hysteresis voltage which is VH we put 0.1 we close the bracket and click enter now we can this add this anywhere over here and now we can that our circuits complete uh, we can run the system or the simulation we go here to run and right uh, click on it with the left mouse of the click uh, here we have the transient response we have the stop time for example we want to stop after five seconds time to start saving data say we want to start saving from from one microsecond and the maximum step time is 10 microseconds now we click OK here as you can see the simulation started working but it is blank right now because we have not selected any um, uh, graphs we just go back over here we click on this one here as you can see we can get the voltage or the current from any position this cursor shows that the voltage at this end and this here shows the current so for example if I want to see if um, the step down of the voltage the output and the input voltage I go here for the input voltage 
click on it and you will see that the input voltage uh, it shows in the simulation as you can see here is constant 20 volts and if we want to stop the holds the simulation we go here to hold we stop it and then we can still use this cursor to see for example the output voltage see over here it's between 14 and 16 volts it's uh, for example 15.5 which can be adjusted to exactly 15 by varying these uh, values of the inductor and capacitor as well as the duty cycle and if you want to see the exactly for example the variation of the output voltage we just go here to magnifying glass and we choose very small piece just right here we can even magnify it more this here is the output as you can there is a little variation due to the uh, switching but uh, it is almost uh, constant because the variation is very small uh, and if, for example if you want to see the output current we just go back over here we click on this here this is the output current and for example we can see the current across the capacitor uh, for ex uh, if you want to see uh, and compare different graphs it's better if you uh, if you take for example two at a time to better see the variation and the effect of this has for this uh, the switching head on the output and in order to remove some of these graphs we go we click on the uh, here uh, this window and we click on delete and just go here to the label see for example now we can better see uh, the voltage here we just go delete that and delete that now we s as you can see here now that we scaled this graph we can really see the effect of the switching has on the uh, capacitor current and for example you can add uh, the switching voltage for example by going over here and dragging the cursor to the other end this is the switches see for example this is the off time and this is the on time if you want to make it neater you can add labels to the circuit here we right click on the mouse go to label and we, for example we put here v input vn and then we add the label to this one this section here and then we go back here we put label v out add this here and then right click uh, now that just delete those now when we run it you will have the labels on the graphs just click right here we add this one and this one as you can see here we hold this is vn and v out is written over here this uh, if you're writing a report or you are just wanted to compare the uh, for the uh, current and voltages it's better if you label them so you can better understand uh, the circuit and in order to better understand the buck converter circuit itself just cancel this one uh, you can start very uh, varying the value of the inductor and see how it affects the output uh, and you of course you can vary the capacitor and of see the effects as well as the duty cycle and all of any other parameters on the circuit um, that is all for today this has been the simulation of a buck converter using the LT spice uh, and I hope uh, it's been very helpful and thank you for watching